Okay, this one's for Sonya. Uh, Sonya has a matrix problem. And I just wrote it, and I can see just by looking at the matrix that a few things are going to happen. First of all, if I add this row to this row, uh, my 1s are going to cancel out. Okay, and my 3s are going to cancel out. And something interesting is going to happen. For example, I am going to get this matrix right here. Okay. I'm going to do this row plus this row <clears throat> to make a new row 2. Row 1 plus row 2 to make a new row 2. So row 1 plus row 2 to make a new row 2. Now I'm going to copy row 1 down. 1, 0, 3, negative 1. Okay, and then row 1 plus row 2, that's going to be 0. That's going to be 1. Negative 3, 3 plus negative 3, and that's going to be 0. And then 11 over 4 minus 1, well, that's 11 over 4 minus 4 over 4. So 11 minus 4 is 7, so that's 7 over 4. And then 0, negative 2, 0. Okay, now what I'm going to do is two of these rows, two row twos plus row three to make a new row three. Okay, and I, what I'm doing is reduce row echelon form, by the way. So two row two plus row three to make a new row three. So then what I'm going to have is 1, 0, 3, negative 1. Okay. 0, 1, 0, 7 over 4. Now, two row twos. Okay. 2 times 0 is 0 plus 0 is 0. Okay. It's two row twos plus row 3 to make a new row 3. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus negative 2 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 0 is 0. And, uh, sorry, I copied this wrong. This is supposed to be negative 7 over 2, not a 0. So, negative 7 over 2. And 7 over 4 times 2 is 7 over 2, plus negative 7 over 2, that's going to be a 0. So, actually, technically, I'm supposed to have Actually, yeah, sorry, this is a 0 right here, and then the 7 over 2 goes here, okay, so that's 2 times 7 over 4 is 7 over 2, plus negative 7 over 2, that's 0. So, reduced row echelon form of this matrix is 1, 0, 3, Negative 1, 0, 1, 0, 7 over 4, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now this tells us a few things. This tells us that there's one degree of freedom, okay? This also tells us that we can write if this was x, y, and z, if this was your x, y, and z, this would tell us that y equals 7 over 4, okay, and that x plus 3z equals negative 1, and that would be your solution. Okay, I hope this helps out. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.